Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling as if uh, you are TV Joshua. If you are TV Joshua, you will know what I'm feeling now. Hallelujah. The atmosphere here is too charged. That is the right at atmosphere to operate. That is the right atmosphere to operate. That is the atmosphere of faith. Are you connected? Have it on your table. You must be born again. Hallelujah. You must be born again. That is the test you have with you. Trying to have as many copies as possible. Friends. This is the best gift to a friend. Best gift to a friend. Hallelujah. I'm just looking at the time. And the time is very close to the second service. What shall we do? Shall we say the grace? Okay, what 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 do you want me to do? What do you want us to do now? <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know. We have many blessings of God. We don't know. But the 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 bag to carry this blessing is too small. And the blessing is bigger than the bag. So I, this remind me. What? Let me just talk to you about this. You must be born again. Uh, this is not because you have it a copy with you. By the time you are given to friends, you need to <coughs> have a word with them before hand over. You must be born again. It's not just right to hand over this copy without talking to your friends. Hallelujah. 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 That you are born again does not mean you cannot make mistakes. But there are teaching, there are different teachings going around. You must have received a lot of teaching. But my Bible made me understand that that you are born that you are born again does not mean you cannot make mistakes. People make mistakes, even if you are a Christian. You are going to make mistake. The difference between you and others, you are you are already have a relationship. You already have what? With who? With God. Take note of that. That is different between you. Not that you will make mistake, but the difference between you and others. You already have a relationship with God. You should know that. Since you have a relationship with Him, you can immediately go to God about your behaviors. Jesus, this is what I have done. This is what has happened to me. Please, Jesus, and He will help you get back on your feet. Are you with me? And forgive you and help you not to make the same decision again. Can you see the difference now? But there is a lot of teaching, a lot of a lot of teaching, a lot of doctrine today. And this actually confuses people. Take note again, once again. Will I, I would like to take it. I will not take the topic. 
the bond again. I don't want to take it because you have the message already. Let me give you just a fun summary. Put it in this way. Everyone has been tempted. Put it that. Everyone has been what? I can hear you. Everyone. Say, say it again. I can hear you. Everyone has been tempted. I'm taking it from this message. But I saw it and I said, oh, wow. Why would you give this one to people without explaining? Everyone has been tempted. You have been tempted. I have been tempted. You have been tempted. We will continue to be challenged with issues that violate our conscience, that disturb our conscience. What are those issues? <sighs> you know, the greatest war is in our hearts. I, I don't want to smoke again. I don't want to see it. I don't want to look at it. I, no, no, I say I don't like this thing. We will continue to be what? To be challenged with issues that violate our conscience. Issues that disturb you as a Christian. You may be going, you just, that's what you don't want to see. Ah, you know. When you look right, you see corruption. You look left, you see killing. You see mismanagement and all of that everywhere. And you cannot continue to close your eyes while walking on the street. It's not possible. You have to open your eyes. Tell you anymore, you will continue to be challenged with issues that violate your conscience. Let's turn to that page, scriptural page. I think we read this last Sunday. Let me just take the, the same reading, Romans 3, verse 10. It says, No one, as it is written, there is no one righteous, no, no, not one. Take note, no, not one, comma. Let's take note of that. There is no who understand this way, that way. No one is righteous, not even one. If we, if there's no one is righteous, not even one, we, are, we all face with temptation to do Are you with me? We all face with what? To do the wrong thing glory be to God there is a way Jesus is the way glory be to God there is a way Jesus is the way You can receive this courage through him, strength, and conviction to hold your ground. Say, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I, I reject it. No, I reject it. 
You can only get this courage from who? To who? Say, oh no. No, no, that thing. I rebook it in Jesus' name. No, no, this is temptation. No, 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 I reject it. No, 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 no. This courage can only come through who? The strength can only come through who? Conviction to hold your ground can only come through who? Jesus Christ. The way and the truth. No one can do the truth. No one can do the right. No one can say the truth. No one can say yes to the truth without Jesus. You can receive the courage, the strength, conviction to hold your ground. To say, no, this is the right thing to do. No, I'm not going to do it. You can say, yes, I can do it if you can do it. To say that, you can only that courage can be come through Christ. No, I cannot do it. If you cannot do it, that can only come through Christ. That courage, I will help you if you can. That kind of language can only come through Jesus. When you gave your life. To Jesus Christ and make him your boss and your seal in all you do. How do we know that you have made Jesus CEO your boss? How how can you know? You can know when you begin to think differently. This is the way of that thing. You know, you, when change comes to your life, you will be directed by your Heavenly Father. Not by the influence from others. Are you with me? If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. So I, I have, I'm born again. How do you know you are born again? We can know. You don't need to tell us. Some people will say, I'm born again. I will say, do, do you need to tell me you are born again? I can read it in your life. I can read it in, 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 your, in your future. That is hypocrisy. I'm born again. I'm born again. I give my life to Jesus over 10 years now. Continue to save yourself. Don't need to tell us this. Your life will read it. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, read me. Read me. Say, read me. read me. I can hear you. Read me. Tell your neighbor. Read me. One thing we don't know. Broken things become useful in God's hand. There's no one Jesus cannot turn around. No one, no matter what you might have done, where you are coming from, Tell your neighbor, broken things become useful in God's hand. So, don't be too forward. No matter how, 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 where you are coming from, how dirty you are, how foolish you are, no matter how foolish you are, broken things become useful in God's hands. Your life will go smoother when you go by the way of this book, by the way of the book. Tell your, life, tell your neighbor, my life will go smoother. My life will run smoother. When I go by the way of the bull, your life will go smoother, will run smoother. Yes, will run smoother. How? How will I know I'm born again? 
Is it the word of mouth? People keep saying, I'm born again, I'm born again. They say, be born again. What is the topic of our message? The, the paper you have here. You have it here, say, you must be born again. Yes, 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 I must be born again. I must be born again. But you don't know that when you are born again, you, you, you think differently. You dream differently. You have a sensitivity that you never had before. Tell you about you have you have a sensitivity that you never had. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. You have a sensitivity that you never had. That you never had. Had. Sensitivity you never had. What do I mean by sensitivity you never had? You have the privilege of letting your creator assist you in all you do. Look, I want to do this. I want to carry the book. If I'm born again, I want to carry this book. I can call on my creator to assist me to carry it. Because if I carry it on my own, I will fail. I want to carry the book in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to carry the book. You will join me carry it. Me and my creator. You and him are cooperating. Tell your neighbor. You and him are cooperating. I can hear you. I can hear you. You and him are cooperating. If you people are not cooperate, you will continue to fail. If at all you get it right, when it gets to a certain level, you fall down. It does. Yes. You and him are cooperating. That is what we call born again. Now, you have the privilege of letting the creator assist you in all you do. I want to carry this book. In Jesus' name, if I'm born again truly, I'll say, Jesus Christ, help me. I want to carry this book. If he does not want me to carry the book, he will tell me, don't carry it. I will not bother to go there. If you want me to carry it, he will join me to carry it. Then I want to carry the book. We carry it together. I will not even fear. I will not sweat. You will just see everything. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Are you really born again? Are you really, tell us your neighbor, are you really born again? Ask your neighbor, are you really born again? Your suffering can prepare you for extraordinary service if you are born again. Tell your neighbor, if you are born again, your pain can prepare you for extraordinary service. That is what they want to mean by born again. That, that does not mean born again will not have pain. There will be pain, but the pain will prepare you for extraordinary service. What I mean by pain could be sickness, could be poverty. A man may be poor and yet be a friend of God. That's not mean you cannot be poor. A man may be sick and yet a friend of God. Whatever you are passing through as a born again will only prepare you for extraordinary service. The highest motive. For God's service is the desire to place Him. Are you with me? The highest motive for God's service is the desire to please Him. That is the highest. Say, I'm sick. How can you're sick? And see, your sickness should prepare you for extraordinary service. You know what I mean by extraordinary? That is, 
the more that pain, the more your desire to serve God. The more that, that situation in your life, the more the desire to move closer to him and to serve him more. Oh my God, my God, I can't understand. Can you hear me over there? If you are truly born again, if you are truly born again, the more the pain, the more desire to serve him. Your pain could be this, could be that. I don't know your pain. If truly you are born again. If truly you are born again. But what is up? What is happening to you today? Because why your pain as a born again is risen for you to serve him the more. Likewise, your blessing, the reason for serving him the more. Because you can go to him about your behaviors. You, you misbehave. You run to him. Because you have a relationship with him. You talk anyhow. You run to him. Jesus has talked anyhow. If that is the case, where well, Satan will not tempt you again. Because you will realize that the more he tempts you, the more you go to God. There's no need of temptation. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. If that is the case, Satan is losing. Because he tempts you to, to overthrow your position. To overthrow you. He tempts you to, 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 so that you can lose your post. But instead, the more the temptation, the more your desire to God, the more you praise Him, the more you move closer to Him, and Satan is loose. There is no need of temptation. You will realize that no, by being tempted, this man is wasting my time. So he will not just withdraw because he, what he wants to achieve is to separate you from your creator. But instead of for you to separate from the creator, now it's means of drawing you closer. Closer. Eh? Ah, closer again. He hit you, you go closer. Closer. It, 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 it's objective, his aim and objective is Yes, motive for services of God is the desire to all to please Him. If you have not experienced him, if you have not experienced God, there will be dissatisfaction. There will be what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Dissatisfaction. A sense, a sense of hunger to know what life is all about. A desire. To know what happened after life is over you keep asking yourself oh when you don't have god you begin to ask yourself ah, what happened after life is over <laughs> six feet where am i going because you don't know where you are going because you don't have god because his protection is beyond the grave Yeah, 
Say, oh, it's a, a, a sense of, I mean, hunger to know what happened or what life is all about. A desire to know what happened after life is over. That is the trouble. Trouble. Where are you going? I want to leave you because of time. I just pick your message given to you. It is this message given to you. So you can give this topic. Everyone has been tempted. But you as a Christian, the difference between you and others, you have a relationship with God. You should know that immediately you misbehave, you can go to him about your behaviors. And it will help you to get back on your feet and will forgive you. And will help you not to make the same error, the same mistake again. Life continue. But others, Rest up. Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Oh yes, I will be ready. I will be ready. You are born again. You know you are born again when everything becomes different. You think differently because you are a changed person. You are not directed by the influence of others, but you are directed by the influence of the Heavenly Father. <laughs> Listen to me, you would think differently because you are a changed person. You are a changed person. Being directed by your heavenly father not by the influence from others but today instead of you to trust in God's authority you trust so much in majority this is the life we live today you trust so much in majority already it is majority that confirm your vote who to lead rule that has been a pattern of the system of the world but you as a christian you should know a personal decision christ is a majority i know i'm born again you know you are born again when you begin to think differently you begin to dream differently and when you get to think differently, the kind of dream you are having, now, that's not 
you don't understand your dream and people don't know the meaning of dreaming what do you mean by dreaming as you are standing now you can dream people think that until they close their eyes people think that until they lie on the bed people think that until they sleep sleeping people thought they attach sleeping to dream that is that is if you are really a christian read your bible you, the divine nature of you can do things at a different time as we are talking now the divine nature of you can be dreaming you can dream as you are standing you can be walking you dream you can be eating you dream you can be talking to you can be in the, where you are dancing and you dream immediately the dream will come to you you dream while you are dancing this is not when you sleep so i think we have time to talk about that not now but just take that but people don't know the different what is what is dream what is the vision what is mission what is vision the means of the whole thing mission give back to vision it's like when you go to a big mall you enter more you have different departmental there is a place they sell shoe a place they sell clothes a place they sell attire where are you going the whole mall is mission why when you enter to a place of uh, i mean a place of shoe you are taking a vision that is a vision there you enter the mall you say i'm going to mall different ap apartment this is shoe this is a uh, car this is the but that the whole mall is mission that is why we say christ mission is my mission the whole mall when you now enter you begin to go which what do you need what, what do you need there but people don't know the difference between oh, what is mission what is vision what is dream dream is not when you sleep it's not when you close your eye you can be dancing you can be inside the plane you can be you can be swimming inside while you are swimming you're dreaming it is not flesh that dream it is not your mind that dream it is not your your flesh it is not your body that dreaming it is the spirit As a Christian, it is the spirit. But we don't know this. So when you become, when you, you are born again, you become a child of God, and you, you give your life to God, Jesus Christ, and you make him your CEO, your boss, in all you do. Everything about you is different. You think differently. When everybody is think this way, you think other way. So this is where you will now cross. You have trouble with the wall. You say and you don't want trouble. Trouble will come. How? When people think this way and you think this way, and you see that this is the way you are, they will say, ah, "This is a foolish man." From there, you become enemy of the wall. Can you see? You are not inviting this. It comes naturally. You are not inviting this. Not that you apply, apply for this, but the thing comes naturally because of your vision and your mission. Look this, but you look this because you think differently because you are born again. Dream differently have a sensitivity that you never had the privilege of letting the creator assist you you want to talk uh, before you talk he will help you to talk you want to jump before you jump he will help you to jump you want to look you say jesus i want to look he help you to look tell me mistake will be very where where would mistake come from where will? Where will? 
This is why today you cannot compare yourself to others because creator of heaven and earth is assisting you. Are you with me? I mean the head of immaterial world is assisting you. So you cannot compare yourself. You cannot begin to compare yourself. Uh, this one do the. I must do the same. No, you are not. So, brother, the joy, the dividend, you understand? The dividend of Barnegay is when the Creator of heaven and earth begin to assist you. That is the dividend. Your dividend of democracy. Dividend. That is the dividend. That is the great the reward. When the creator of heaven and earth begin to assist you, you want to sleep, he will assist you. You want to wake up, he assists you. You want to talk, he assists you. You want to sleep, he assists you. You want to preach, he assists you. You want to pray, he assists you. We call it you and him are cooperating. Tell you about I and Christ Jesus are cooperating. I can't understand you. Yes, that is cooperation. Come, but what has happened today? Why are you saying you are born again? Born wuru wuru. I and Christ Jesus are cooperating. And immediately you are born again, you begin to pray according to His will. You dance according to His will. You look according to His will. You, you talk to people according to His will. You know what I mean by His will? When you begin to do this according to His will, me, you, you are under his supervision. Taking instruction from him. According to his way. Then you can approach him through the name. You can approach him through the name. When you know his way in your life, there is no way you can know that way without you, you submit your way. You have to total submission before he gives you his way. This is why people can love, can love, can be, can, you can love to, to, to to, to come to church, you can, you, can, you can have desire for him, but his own desire. If your desire is genuine, his desire will be given to you. Open your lips, ask him to act in you, so that your work may be holy. Act in me, Lord. So that my work, Holy Spirit, act in me, so that my work may be holy. Lord Jesus, act in me, so that my work may be holy. Breathe in me, oh Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, oh Holy Spirit. Open your list prayer. Le Sénateur m'étant prié, dit Saint-Esprit, agis en moi afin que mes voix, mes œuvres soient saintes. Priez. Abra sus labios y al Espíritu Santo que obre en usted para que su obra sea santa. Que respire en usted para que sus pensamientos sean santos.
strengthen me, Lord, so that I will defend what is holy. Prayer. Ask him to strengthen you to defend that is holy. That that is holy. Pídale que le fortalezca para defender aquello que es santo. Je le prie, dis fortifie-moi, Seigneur, afin que je puisse défendre ce qui est saint. Abra sus labios con fe y corazón y pida al Espíritu Santo que le fortalezca para defender aquello que es santo. En Jesus Christ's name we pray. Hallelujah. I want you to take this. Take it. If you need to write it, you are born again. When you are born again, you have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. Tell your neighbor again. I say again, when you are born again, you will have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. Again, again, when you are born again, you will have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. That is the definition for born again. Every other definition is under it. This is primary definition. Every other is secondary. If the Creator does not assist you, how will you live right? How will you maintain that you are born again? No one can live holy and holy and holy without God guides. No one can speak for him without his, his instinct. No one can continue to assist him, support him, live for him without him. In this world, without faith and hope, you cannot live right, you cannot defend what is right without him. In this world, everywhere, when you live here, now you go back to your office. In your office there, you know what has happened. In your working place, you know what has happened. If you look right, you can't see people like you as a, as, as a, as a born again. If you look left, you can't see them. I, I found you can't see them. Back, you can't see them. It's like you are in the battle. So unless he assists you in all you do, you continue to be overthrown. You walk, walk, they deploy you, they do you, bring you down, you are supposed to be promoted, they demote you, they will say you the Bible is a trouble, it's a hatred to many unless Jesus is with you. That is why you have to be born again genuinely. Yes. This kind of born again wuru wuru is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Wuru 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 to the answer. Hmm? You say two plus two is four, but you now say two plus two is five. You say you got it. When look at what the Bible says in that book of Luke, he say. <laughs> Behold, I have given you power to walk freely among snakes, to walk freely among scorpion, to walk freely among what? People say, if I stand there, no, 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 you don't need to stand on them. You don't need to stand there. You don't need to match them. No, no. What the Bible is saying there is said to walk freely because you are among scorpion and snake. Everywhere you turn to, when you live here to your working place, snake everywhere, spirit of snake everywhere. Your friends, snake, you eat with them. They give you food, they give you money. Some people will take money from blood place, from ritual, and they will give you your no. But because you are given power to walk freely among them. That is what I'm talking about. That when you are born again, you have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. Me, you walk freely among the snake, you walk freely among the scorpion, you walk freely among the lion. 
you'll be walking among them like this they'll be looking at you and say ah which kind of man is this which kind of man is this they cannot touch you they will just only look at you how many of them will you march bible does not mean march you want to go and march them how many of them will you march the bible does not mean march it means walk freely live freely eat freely look freely dance freely among them and not each other by any means walk tell your neighbor once again how do you know you are born again you are born again when you have the privilege of letting the creator assist you in all you do the question now ask your neighbor are you are you really are you truly born again when when you are going you put a charm inside the pocket another creator here another creator here another creator you are <laughs> how many creators you carry Third, huh? you put charm you put charm those who are not put charm they put it in your their pocket in your mouth huh just burn again listen take note when you are born again you will receive the courage strength and conviction to hold your ground are you with me there yeah. when you are born again you will receive courage strength and conviction to hold your ground when you move like this nothing can shake me So this kind of fear you know you take fear 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 everywhere people when they know you are happy they'll touch you they'll just you receive a call touching call they say hello hello are you the land yes okay you hear my voice now we are going to kidnap you you see go and carry this money in, at the backyard okay we are coming now hmm. if you like off your answer leave your answer i will call you back you will now charge the answer very well. <laughs> in case they call, <laughs> in case they call any other time, it will be a special call. Immediately receive call. He says, "Sister, oh, the sister will say, I'm the ah, oh, sorry, oh, you want to tell them that I'm do you want me to bring." So that is not born again. When somebody is trusting your life and tell you that, hey, look, we are going to do that. So, I, so are you my creator? Oh, I I love you, but <laughs> but I will be waiting there for you. <laughs> Which will be total submission. Yes. Yes. Don't be afraid of death. Yes. Total submission to that death they are talking about, because you know where you are going. Yes. When you know where you are going, eh, you don't need to be fear. When you know Jesus is going with you. You don't need to be fear. Why are you afraid? You need not fear where you are going. Tell your neighbor. When you know Jesus is going with you. Tell your neighbor. You need not fear where you are going. When you know Jesus is going with you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. That's all. If somebody is threatening you that you want to kill you, and you know that that is your home already, that is express. <laughs> that is express. Huh? That is says prayer. If it is the will of God, that is says prayer is good. I tell you, if it is your day of departure, something must take your life. It, it, anything could take your life. But if it is the day of your departure, it, eh? 
You need not fear where you are going. When you know Jesus is going with you. Why are you afraid? So thank you, Jesus. Now, I will not leave you unless you know the world born again now. You know, if you are born again now, when you can know if you are born again. Huh? You can know. I'm here now. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. If I'm here alone, I'm, I'm in trouble. If I'm alone, I'm here. If I'm just alone here. Ha! And the number of people here is just a percent. 99% they are sad. They are sitting, dressing. Some people they dress, they have turned in Manet TV as church. As we are talking now, they are watching Manet TV. So if I'm alone and I'm talking to you, I'm in trouble. Me, I and our Lord Jesus Christ are cooperating. So this is what I mean by when you are born again, you have the privilege of letting him assist you. If you are not born again, there is no way he can assist you. You cannot. It's only when you are born again, he can assist you. He will assist you to talk. You just want to talk to somebody, you have to pray. Father, now you approach him through the name. Father, Jesus Christ. Hello be the name. This is what I'm going for. And through that prayer, you will know whether to go or not to go. If he asks you to go, it means he is going to talk for you. So once you start cooperating with him, you begin to know his way, whether to pray. You begin to know his way, whether to go there. You begin to know his way, whether to sleep. You begin to know his way, whether to travel. You begin to know his way, whether to give a gift. Happy this man. You have to know God's way before you help this man. You have to know his way. But when you don't know his way and you are doing it, it means you are not born again. So, I want to pray with you. your lips ask him once again to strengthen your desire and your determination for him you want him to strengthen your desire your desire is to do his way your higher highest motive to serve him is to please him father strengthen my desire and my determination for you alone you alone you alone you alone, you alone. Let my way be your way, and let your way be my way. Give me the grace to cooperate with you in all I do. Give me the grace to cooperate with you in all I do. Give me the grace to cooperate with you. I want to cooperate with you. I want to cooperate with you. I want to submit. I want to submit. I want to submit. Prayer. My sons, every day. Father,
have been cooperating with God. Imagine what has been happened in the past. Assume you have been cooperating with him. He will have insisted you to do, to walk, to see. Remember in the past your journey so far. As long as you have the grace of letting him assist you in all you do in the past. Today, we are in his presence asking for the grace. There is a bond be between you and God because he's your creator. Say there is a bond between me and God. Because it's my creator. So I'm asking for this bond again. The renewal of this bond. Open your lips, prayer. My songs every day. least begin to ask for the renewal of this bond there is a bond there is a bond because it's your creator there is a bond there is a covenant Il y a un lien entre vous et Dieu parce qu'il est votre créateur ou vous voulez et continuer de demander le renouvellement de ce lien There is a bond between you and God because he is your creator Ask for renewal renewal Abra sus labios y pídale a Dios que renueve la conexión entre él y usted. You want him to assist you in all you do. The grace of letting him, the grace of letting him, the privilege of letting him, the grace of letting him assist you in all you do. You ask for this. This is dividend of born again. Dividend of born again is that grace of assisting you in all what you do. You ask for this dividend. Je voulais vous continuer de prier, demander la grâce et le privilège de le laisser vous assister tout ce que vous faites. Priez. Abra sus labios y pédale por la gracia de asistirle en todo lo que ustedes hacen.
of an living God. There is no one like you. assisting you even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death you fear 